Hello dear friends, welcome again on our virtual tours, Gerolita Travel channel for virtual tours is with you and today we are in Yonishkis or Yonishek in Yiddish, it's a small town not far from the border of Lithuania and Latvia. Here you can see Lithuanian flag, yellow, green and red, some inscriptions people uh, put here. So um, Yonishkis. A typical shtetl, beautiful community, and we are in a synagogue. It rains outside, so we started our episode, unlike other places, we started from inside. So I am in the main hall of the red brick synagogue, which was built about 200 years ago, next to another synagogue, next to the white synagogue. So two synagogues uh, composing a shulhoif or a courtyard of synagogues and the rabbi's house. On the side, this is, as is, you could see in our previous episodes, this is a very typical Lithuanian structure of the Torah center of, of, of the community. So this synagogue was used by the Jewish community up until the Holocaust. After the Holocaust, during the Soviet era, when there was uh, no Jewish community in uh, Yonishkis, the synagogue was used for different purposes of the town and for a long time after the Soviets left it was an abandoned building. And the roof got uh, rotten and uh, it collapsed. And uh, it took time to collect funds and to persuade uh, European structural funds and some other organizations to, to help to restore this uh, valuable heritage of uh, Lithuanian Jewish community. Uh, the Lithuanian Jewish community participated in, in the restoration both financially and also physically. So today it's an exhibition hall. It looks like it was uh, in the days of, of, of a synagogue. Here is a Arona Kodesh, the Ark, Ten Commandments on the sides, uh, the Star of David, uh, and, and you see uh, the typical windows, arched windows, neo-Gothic uh, uh, architectural style with uh, some stained glass to decorate uh, the windows and to make the synagogue nicer. So, uh, the only thing is missing is the bima, the place where I stand now, here, at the very center. Here was the bima for reading the Torah, for reading the Old Testament. The entrance to the synagogue, uh, two rooms for studies, and women's section above the entrance is very typical to the 19th century synagogues in Lithuania. So for me, as a local Jew, it is a great pleasure finally to come to Yonishkis and not to stand only outside the synagogue and tell that this is a former synagogue, but also to enter and to show how did it look like, to show that there is cultural life uh, in, in the synagogue. Today there are exhibitions of local artists, there, there is no Jewish community today in Yonishki, so no services in this synagogue, but at least it serves a cultural purpose. Some historical exhibitions. The history of Jews of Yonishkis. Yonishkis Jewish economic activity in interwar period in three languages, Lithuanian, Lith Russian and English, some other articles, the cover of the Torah example here, <coughs> and Talmud, and the synagogue from the women's section. And this is a second synagogue. No, actually for us now it's second synagogue. It was a first synagogue. This synagogue is a little bit older than uh, the red synagogue. This is a white one inside. And it looks um, bigger, it feels bigger. 
uh, it feels less as a synagogue today uh, because of the interior decoration. But the original interior decoration was so badly damaged uh, because here was a gym uh, during the Soviet era. Uh, and uh, today it's a, uh, another exhibition hall of uh, the great uh, synagogue. Now you saw the women's section. I'm not sure that this women's section existed here uh, when the synagogue was built. Could be, but we don't have such uh, evidences. Maybe in, in the big synagogue there was no separate place uh, or separate floor for women. So for a community of a little bit over a thousand people, two such big impressive synagogues, I would say this community did pretty well. So now we are outside on the street and you just saw on the spire of the church and as my father likes to say Jews lived in the shadow of a church and here you can see the two synagogues we have previously visited inside the red synagogue which was built in a neo-gothic style the arched windows with the with the peak arch they testify about the neo-gothic period and then uh, Renaissance, uh, a little bit uh, maybe neo-Renaissance style of the white synagogue, nicely decorated. What's interesting, there are almost no exterior traditional Jewish decorations. No Star of David, no um, um, uh, Ten Commandments. These were just, you know, simple, simple, nicely decorated buildings. So I think that in such a small place as Yonishok, everybody knew where to go. Christians to the church and the Jews to the synagogue. And this is a typical courtyard of, 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 of the synagogues. Yeah? You see the space between the two synagogues. Uh, and here was a, no, sorry, here was a rabbi's house. I'm really pleased to see that today they are in a good shape nicely painted, newly plastered uh, with all the original decorations and it really took a lot of efforts of both sides, the Christians who run the city and the Jews who are not here anymore. But now this little town on the way from Riga to Vilnius has the Jewish heritage preserved. These typical houses Typical old houses, they all belong to the Jews. One was hotel, another was a dwelling house with some shops on the ground floor. This is how Yonishkis looked a uh, hundred years ago. And I'm holding a phone book from 1940. Again and again, I like this book, I like to read the name. Yonishkis, uh, Shaulei region. The first name, Abramson Didier. He was selling flax. Uh, Abramson Kalman, his brother most probably the same. Haikin Abel was a doctor. Uh, electric uh, power station, Galpern Dovid also sold flax. And so on and so forth. A lot of Jewish names uh, on uh, two pages of uh, phone numbers of Yonishkis of 1940. And we are also uh, actually on the main street and the main square of uh, Yonishkis, a nice fountain, some trees, some flowers, everything looks pretty nice here. Now, that direction is an old market square. Every little town had a market square. So this is the market square with some typical one floor buildings and the main church facing the market square. So that's it in the town of Yonishkes. So we came here an hour ago, or maybe two hours ago, and it's a short stop. It's a short stop when I come with groups on the way from Riga to Kaunas or Vilnius, and it's a short stop now when we came on purpose to make this uh, virtual tour and to screen it on our YouTube channel of Gerulita Travel Company. Thank you for being with us put likes, send us comments. We value every response.